from drab to fab. What's up guys and welcome back to I'm Uniquely Made and I'm your host Monique and today I will be reviewing the Kiera Sky Jelly Tip Starter Kit. Um, this is the Soak Off Starter Kit that is in the shape um, square and short. It also comes with an LED lamp which is awesome. So this kit comes with basically everything you need besides a polish and you can use polish if you choose to or just leave it as is but let's just get right into it all right like i said y'all it comes with a uv lamp in order to cure the gel um in order to cure the jelly tip to your nail so it comes with the base that you plug in obviously into an outlet which I thought was awesome and then here's the UV lamp which makes it so easy to slide your finger in and it also comes with the cord um, in order for it to work. Alright y'all so this is step one um, which is the prep. You don't have to cure this then you follow that up with step two which is the primer. Again that you do not have to cure this you just follow it up after step one. Step three is the builder gel. You do have to cure this. So this goes right after step two. And then there's step four, which is the top coat, which goes completely at the end if you decide to put polish on. All right, so here are the jelly tips. Again, I got square and short. And um, they are just beautiful. I feel like they look like glass almost. But um, the top of the case is numbered so that way you know which number you're taking and what fits your nail. It also comes with instructions that are very clear and easy to read so you won't have any problems with application. And here are the shapes that the jelly tips come in. They come in coffin long stiletto medium, coffin medium, almond medium, and square medium. So you have a selection to work with. So just like any other DIY nail job, you want to select the right nail that fits, you know, your nail bed. And I suggest going just a little bit over, not too like small. If it's too small, you might have some lifting. So just choose one that's a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go in with my electric file and just file down um, my nail just to get it smooth because I think I did have like some old glue on there. So just to prep your nail, get it smooth and um, any shine off. And then inside the jelly tips that you choose, you want to file down just a little bit um, with an e-file or a hair file and just buff down inside of the nail that matches that's the same length as your nail bag so just between your cuticle and the tip of your nail that's where you want to file then you want to clean your nail beds off with some um, alcohol so that way it's free of dust and oil and stuff like that so you definitely want to clean your nail beds off with some oil and now we're ready to begin Okay, so starting off with step one, which is the prep. You want to place that all over your nail bed from cuticle to tip, just like you would polish. And then moving on to step two, which is the primer. You want to do the same from cuticle to tip. Again, you do not have to cure this. Now step three, which is the builder. So this is like the glue. This is going to um, glue the tip onto your nail so you just apply a thin layer just like you would polish and I'm just gonna cure my whole hand at one time instead of curing each individual nail so I'm just gonna cure for about 30 seconds and um, then start the nail tip application So here is the nail tip and I'm only applying the builder gel to where I had buffed inside of the um, jelly tip. I don't want to go any further than where I buffed out because I don't want gel to be 
um, any place but my nail tip. And from cuticle to tip, you just want to push down and get any air bubbles out and then immediately cure so that way it's set in place. And then you just want to rotate your finger under the UV lamp so that way it's curing the whole nail and you cure for about 30 seconds. So here is the fully cured nail. It looks so cute. These nails are actually longer on me because my nail beds are short, but that's okay. And um, it looks good. So again, here is another clip of me doing the next nail. You just want to apply that builder gel exactly where you buffed the inside of the jelly tip. And just do a smooth application and it, it may look like I'm applying a lot but it's really not it's just me trying to smooth it all out and I suggest before you place the jelly tip on your nail bed just to turn on your UV lamp so that way you can just go ahead and place your finger right under and you won't have to press the button to activate the UV lamp and from cuticle to tip, you just want to push that nail down and cure immediately. Alright, and then I'm just going to do that for the rest of the nails. The technique was fairly simple. I mean, this has been the easiest thing that I have tried so far. Um, and I've tried acrylic, poly gel, and things like that. And this has been the easiest um, application of nails that I have ever tried. Alright, so when I was done applying all of the nails, I just cure under my larger UV lamp so that way I can just like get them all in there and then I have to cure each one for so long. And here are the first four nails that I've done. Don't pay my cuticles any mind. They are just a wreck, but they're doing much better now. But I just think they look so beautiful. And then I'm just going to apply my thumb last. I always do my thumbs last so that way I can have um, a good grip on the nail. So here is the right hand with all of the nails on. I love the way it look, you know, just being clear, but I am going to polish them later on. Alright, so now I'm just going to go in with my nail file and just file around the edges so that way it's not too sharp. And then after that, I'm going to go in with a buffing block and take away the shine on the nails now that I am going to paint them. But you want to do this if you're not going to paint them anyway, if you were just to apply the top coat. So definitely want to take away the shine on the top of the nails. And then I'm just going to go back in with my nail file and just shape up a little bit if, a, if the nail was too um, long or whatever. I'm just going to go and shape them up. And again, to remove all that dust, I'm just going to spray some alcohol on a paper towel and just wipe down the nails so that they are free from oil and dust. And now with my own gel polish, I'm just going to go in with this white color and just apply two coats of that. And I did fail to record the fourth step, which is the top coat. But after the gel polish, you cure that and then you apply the top coat and you cure that as well. This is the final result, guys. And you can't tell me that I didn't go to the shop and get this done, like for real. The kit is $99 and you get about maybe five or six sets of nails, like, refills so I mean I think that's a good price because you would pay about $50 at the nail salon so this last three weeks so I feel like that's just a good deal but um, I'm not one to get a bunch of designs or anything on my nails anyway so I prefer to just do it myself especially you know on a special occasion so I just love the way these turn out and the simplicity of applying these nails so y'all should check it out yourself the link will be down below and i will see you on the next video